that is iPhone 12 Pro Max. And I'm pretty aware that there is already tons of the reviews on all YouTube channels. But direction of this video to try to explain you what this phone is capable of if we are talking about photography and what you can get outside of those free lenses. So let's dive in. Right now when iPhone finally inside the case and protected from the different damage and yes yeah, this year I decided to bought a case for my phone just to make sure that it not will be destroyed in the next couple of days. Same time it's kind of expensive device for $1100 so definitely worth of the protection. So I bought this original Apple silicone case with MagSafe inside color called navy blue. What do you think guys about this color? I kind of like it. Let me know in the comments what do you think about this color or which one you bought it for yourself. Uh, I selected this color just because that was the nearest color to match original color of my phone, which is ocean blue. But still, difference in the color is quite huge between them. But yeah, that's not the point of the today's video. As you all know, I decided to not record in this year unboxing video on iPhone 12 Pro Max because it's kind of not bringing you any value from the perspective of end viewer. You all already know what will be inside the box. That will be lightning cable to USB-C, phone and one sticker. So kind of boring. In 2020, they not even including already power adapters. So Apple making it for us this one even simpler. Right now, it's only three items, if we count sticker as one of them. If we count in without sticker, it will be only charging cable and phone. That's it. Quite simple. But instead of that, I decided to record for you two videos. First one about photo capabilities of this phone and second one about video capabilities of this phone. So those two videos will help you to understand what this phone is capable of from the perspective of content creation. And after that you can decide if you want to buy one or not. So today we are talking about photo capabilities of this phone and first what we should do it's a small overview of the lenses presented on this phone. As you all know there is a three lenses. Number one that is ultra wide lens with f 2.4 and equal to 13 millimeters. Number two that is most interesting lens in 2020 wide angle lens with f1.6 f1.6 yeah exactly and equal to 26 millimeters and third lens that will be telephoto lens which equal to 65 millimeters with f2.2 comparing with a smaller brother which have telephoto lens equal to 55 millimeters with f2.0 so significant difference in this year between both pro models iphone 12 pro and iphone 12 pro max but yeah First, let's start from ultra wide lens. So here is example on your screen. That is a shot done on the ultra wide lens on iPhone 12 Pro Max. Looks amazing. That is what I actually really like about this lens. This lens providing for you 120 degree view. So even if you are taking a photo on the wedding, you definitely will not forget to include anyone on this photo. Everything what's possible can be included in the frame is there. 100% and take a look on these colors of course this photo was edited with my presets by the way if you're interested in my presets right now we have a huge sale 65% discount you can buy 16 presets my presets for $9.99 link will be in the description if you will be interested but yeah photo looks great plus it's really working great for editing thanks to HDR a lot of colors presented a lot of room for editing 100% here is the second shot and like you see it also looks great. I decided to change the colors here to orange, dark, really moody from my perspective. And at the same time ultra wide angle lens giving you a lot of details on this shot like you see. Plus this year Apple finally decided to improve 
ultra wide lens and wide angle lens and provided for both of these lenses night mode so right now you can use both of these lenses in the night time without any problems so this lens will be really great for the portrait shots and for some other shots like example street photography or product photography etc definitely worth a try plus later giving you more precise autofocus in the night time without any problems you can take great photos in the night so yeah that is ultra wide lens but right now let's go to most interesting lens in this year 2020 that is wide angle lens and why this lens is actually interesting so interesting for us first of all because Apple finally increased size of the sensor on 47% for this lens. 47% that is really significant amount. Plus they provided also new technology for this lens which called sensor shift which giving you additional stabilization for this lens. So here is example of the shot from the right side. Here is example of the shot from the left side. Like you see they both look amazing. A lot of details there no question here i like the colors plus i really like how this lens is performing the night time thanks to f1.6 you get in less noise zone than on any other lenses so that is definitely the lens which i will be selecting first if i will be taking something in the night time like example portrait shots that will be perfect solution for me here is one more shot and like you see again all details here no question asked so this lens is most interesting lens because of the bigger sensor this lens getting more light with f1.6 it's perfect for the low light situation so as i explained you before so if sensor bigger but have the same amount of pixels each separate pixel have more space that's giving possibility to each separate pixel getting more light so definitely that is the best lens from the perspective of the photography on iPhone if we're talking about low light situations. And next one, third lens, which is kind of interesting for me because I found that I'm using this lens maybe like 75% of the time. That is a telephoto lens, which equal to 65 millimeters with f2.2. This 2.5 zoom working really, really, really well. And that is the lens which you select in if you far enough from your object but you want to be a little bit closer and still have all details so this telephoto lens providing these details a lot of them here is a shot like you see it's done in the daytime but still there is a lot of details and even if you crop this photo you still will be have a lot of details there that is definitely one of the interesting lens on my opinion if we're talking about daylight photography if we're talking about night photography with this lens it's kind of tricky here is where i can say it you lose in magic because i tried to use this lens in the night time and unfortunately i have too much flare but maybe it's because my lens maybe was dirty or something like that there was presented a lot of flare so this lens with f 2.2 performing okay but not perfect one compared with wide angle lens which have bigger sensor and of course f1.6 so you definitely can use this lens in the night time but it's not providing the same results as a wide angle lens here is example of the shot from the left side and like you see shot looks decent but at the same time eh, it's not perfect on my opinion but yeah it's really great lens in general. If you will be using your iPhone for like example product photography, let's say for YouTube thumbnails, you done a review of some lens or camera and etc and you want to take a photo but you don't have a second camera that is the camera which will be works for you with this lens so this lens with 65 millimeters is actually really great for the product photography because you have this healthy depth of field on the photos with the 65 millimeters and thanks to later but it's also presented on two other lenses not on ultra wide angle lens because 
because it's kind of ultra wide and it's not created to be really close to the object and create this super depth of field but at the same time it's presented on wide angle lens and on telephoto too so that is all three lenses with examples i hope that was enough information for you and right now let's summarize so for whom created this phone actually iphone 12 pro max i can say it in our days in 2020 that is powerful device which can work for you as a professional let's say it social media content creator you can use this phone for the photos for your instagram for thumbnails on the youtube for tiktoks and etc 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 and photos which you get in outside of this phone 100 giving you a lot of advantage compared with other phones colors is really natural plus hdr giving you full picture for editing so it's not will be hard for you to apply any like presets which you want if you have them in the lightroom already use them plus apple soon planning to release apple pro raw which i hope will bring us more details even more details than it's presented right now so definitely in our time that is ultimate device for creating a digital content in social media like example youtube again twitter instagram whatever you need it this phone is capable of that one of course if you will start cropping your photos you will see that there is a lot of details will be missing because it's again 12 megapixel sensor and again that is a phone please do not expect like the same quality like providing for you mirrorless cameras at the same time it's not so far away actually definitely that is a phone actually really great for the photography plus what i really like it about about iPhone 12 Pro Max that is a huge screen because thanks to this huge screen you can easily edit all your photos directly on the phone it's really comfortable to work with the Lightroom from my perspective I used this phone on the go with the Lightroom and no problems at all I immediately edited all photos here on the Lightroom and posted them on Instagram by the way subscribe on my Instagram if you still not subscribe but yeah i can say that is one more advantage of this phone so not only the bigger sensor on wide angle lens not even telephoto lens with a 65 millimeters and f 2.2 but this big screen which giving you a lot of advantage compared with iphone 12 pro which have a smaller screen so yeah definitely that is ultimate machine for creating a digital content in 2020 so I will recommend this device and from now on that will be my daily driver and of course I will be buying different tools like uh, Polar Pro cases for this phone with the lenses from Momentum and etc 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 so stay tuned subscribe on my channel don't forget to do that of course give this video a big thumbs up if you like what I'm doing and yeah see you in the next one already pretty soon I hope this video was really useful take care bye mm.